हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री लेक्चर अगेन इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड आर एंड एस कन्फिग्रेशन व्हेन अ मॉलिक्यूल इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय पर्सपेक्टिव फार्मूला इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड आर एंड एस कन्फिग्रेशन व्हेन अ कायरल मॉलिक्यूल इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय फिशर प्रोजेक्शन फार्मूला देर आर सर्टन रूल्स very similar to those we have already discussed in the last lecture these rules are determine the priority of atoms or groups bonded to the chiral center and label them as 1 2 3 and 4 draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2 if the lowest priority group that is priority 4 is on vertical line then clockwise direction of arrow suggest r configuration while counter clockwise direction of arrow suggest s configuration if the lowest priority group is on horizontal line then clockwise direction of arrow suggest s configuration while counter clockwise direction of arrow suggests r configuration now let's do some exercise for more clarification suppose we have lactic acid represented by fischer projection formula like this and we have to find out its absolute configuration based on steps we have discussed just now determine the priority of groups attached to the chiral center and label them as 1 2 3 and 4 here hydroxyl group is priority 1 carboxylic acid is 2 methyl is 3 and h is 4 now draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2 here fourth priority group is on vertical line and the direction of arrow is clockwise so the absolute configuration will be r if the fischer projection formula is like this label the groups based on their priorities as 1 2 3 and 4 draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2 since fourth priority group is on vertical line and direction of arrow is counter clockwise so the absolute configuration will be s now we will take examples in which fourth priority group is on horizontal line suppose we have lactic acid shown by formula a and we have to find out its absolute configuration for this label the groups based on their priorities as 1 2 3 and 4 draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2 since the fourth priority group is on horizontal line and direction of arrow is clockwise so the configuration will be s similarly if we have fischer projection of lactic acid shown by b to find out absolute configuration label the groups based on the priorities as 1 2 3 and 4 draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2 here fourth priority group is on horizontal line and direction of arrow is counter clockwise so the configuration will be r suppose we have 3 bromo 2 propanol represented by fischer projection formula there are two chiral centers c2 and c3 we will determine the configuration of two centers one by one for the determination of absolute configuration at c2 first label the groups based on their priorities priority of hydroxy group is 1 bromoethyl is 
methyl is 3 and hydrogen is 4. Now draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the fourth priority group is on horizontal line and direction of arrow is counterclockwise, so the configuration at C2 will be R. At C3, priority of bromine is 1, hydroxyethyl is 2, methyl is 3 and hydrogen is 4. Draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the fourth priority group is on horizontal line and direction of arrow is clockwise, so the absolute configuration at C3 will be S.